What's good, everybody? I'm Chris Battistel, and this is my Fantasy in Frames rookie profile on wide receiver Malachi Corley, a guy who probably could have came out last year and been a day two pick. He's unpolished, but with the ball in his hands, he's absolutely electric. He's the yak king for a reason. Quite simply, give the ball to Malachi Corley, and he is the dog that is in the dog that is in him. Five foot 10, 215 pounds, entering the NFL at 22 years old. And just by looking at his college dominator percentage, he was the offense for Western Kentucky. 31.9%. He has a breakout age of 20 and at 20.5. The red flag and the giant red flag uh, for a lot of these guys coming out this year is that he's not an early declare. Um, looking at his breakout season in, in 2021, uh, 14 games played, seven starts, 73 receptions, 684 yards, and seven touchdowns. But it wasn't until that 2022 season that Malachi Corley put his stamp on the NCAA 101 receptions. 1,282 touchdown uh, yards, reception yards, and uh, 11 touchdowns. 1,282 touchdowns just would have been, I mean, 101 in that case. But 11 touchdowns, 1,282 reception yards, and 101 receptions. Last season, 12 games played, 79 receptions, 985 yards, and again, 11 touchdowns. When you look at what Malachi Corley does good, and I mentioned it at the top of this episode here, is that with the ball in his hands, he turns into a running back. He prints fantasy points when he has the ball in his hands, and that is what you want. When you watch his game film, you see that he's got impressive hands, tough hands. He's good on the move. He's quick. He's agile. He gets in and out of his cuts. He knows how to use acceleration. He plays with a competitive edge. And when you watch the draft videos and when the, the New York Jets picked Malachi Corley, they told him on the phone, make sure you bring the anger. We want you to run angry. We want you to bring that tenacity to the New York Jets. Now, where he does struggle, some of the weaknesses for Malachi Corley is that he's a bit stiff, and a lot of his juice comes after he gets the ball in his hands. So at Western Kentucky, it's great when you're not as polished as a, a route runner for a wide receiver because you can use your athletic abilities to be able to hide some of those factors. But at the next level, you got to be a polished route runner. Otherwise, it's not going to bode well for you. You're not going to be able to get yourself into the situations like you did at Western Kentucky and get the ball. Um, Aaron Rodgers is a great QB. He can fit the ball in a lot of tight windows. But the more and more that he distrusts you and you um, not being where you're supposed to be within the route, you're just he's not going to throw you the ball. And we've seen that year in and year out. So he has to get a little bit more polished with his route running to be a dominant fantasy viable uh, wide receiver. Looking at his, his ADP from Dynasty League Football from DLF, uh, this is from April Prior to the NFL draft, a lot of this information is gathered from single QB and super flexes positional ADP is wide receiver 13. I have him as a wide receiver 12 and super flex. His overall ADP is 28. So an early third and single QB it's 24. So a back end second uh, players going ahead of them with Tavion Sanders and Ricky Pearsall who could see a great jump if the 49ers move any of the wide receivers in that wide receiver room. And then just behind them, uh, Will Shipley and Jalen Polk. Jalen Polk is a guy that I currently have ranked above Malachi Corley right now after the NFL draft. 
getting that second round capital. Uh, that's why I have uh, Jalen Polk ahead of Malachi Corley. Uh, combine measurables, he didn't really do any of the workouts. So we don't have his 40 or his Burt or his Broad. So I didn't really uh, include his RAS score. It's kind of just useless information at this point. But again, it, he's not the fastest guy, but he's angry uh, when he gets the ball in his hand. Uh, fantasy wise being drafted as a new york jet could be a gift and a curse for fantasy managers on one hand he gets attached to a future hall of fame quarterback aaron Rodgers, who's coming off a devastating achilles injury at 40 years old on the other hand he gets injected into a team that struggled to do anything offensively and we gotta hope that aaron Rodgers can hide the blemishes of nathaniel hackett's offense the jets last season 29th in points per game 31st in yards per game 31st in yards per play 32nd in red zone scoring percentage and 32nd in touchdowns per game. So quite frankly, no wide receiver was worth rostering in redraft leagues last year uh, from the New York Jets just based on what they weren't able to do as a passing attack. Um, and then with them being fourth in passing plays per game, you are expecting some of those numbers that I just gave you uh, where they are like 29th in points per game, 31st in yards per game, 31st in yards per play while being fourth in passing plays per game just goes to show you how much the Jets struggled offensively. They really only had the one at weapon in Garrett Wilson. Now they got a decent one. In Malachi Corley, whose success is going to come from the abilities of Aaron Rodgers and where he is as a starting quarterback. I'm expecting Aaron Rodgers to just speed up his process and getting the ball out of his hands. Um, Aaron Rodgers being a great play action quarterback bodes well for Malachi Corley too and from early interviews it seems like the coaching staff is going to manufacture touches for Corley and utilize his angry running and yak ability and if that's the case it's wheels up for Malachi Corley for 2024. I'm Chris Battistel and this is my Fantasy and Frames rookie profile on wide receiver from the New York Jets Malachi Corley. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Toodles.